Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will explain how to work out the maximum bearing pressure under the base of mass concrete retaining wall. We will start with a well drained mass concrete retaining wall, 2.25 meters high, is 1 meter wide at the top and 1.25 meters wide at the base. The soil is sand and gravel with a density of 20 kilonewtons per cubic meter and an angle of friction of 30 degree. The water table is 4 meters below the top of the retained surface. The weight of the concrete is 24 kilonewtons per cubic meter. However, how do the results change if the drainage behind the wall becomes blocked and water rises to the top of the wall? We will explain this in the next video, so stay tuned. How can we work out the maximum bearing pressure under the base of the wall? Also, how can we check the factor of safety against sliding? So, let's start. The first step is to locate the position of G, the center of gravity of the wall. In all the subsequent calculations, we shall consider a unit length of wall. In other words, we will consider 1 meter width of the wall. We need to take our moments around this point, let's label it with A. To make things easier, we will build a table to help us record our findings. Let's divide the cross section of the wall up into three simple shapes numbered 1 to 3. So, the weight of section 1 equals 1 times 1.75 meters times 24 kilonewtons per cubic meter, which is equal to 42 kilonewtons. The weight of section 2 equals 0.5 times 0.25 meters times 1.75 meters times 24 kilonewtons per cubic meter, which is equal to 5.25 kilonewtons. The weight of section 3 is equal to 0.5 meters times 1.25 meters times the density 24 kilonewtons per cubic meter, which equals 15 kilonewtons. The next column is the distance from the centroid of each section to the point A. For section 1, the distance equals 0.5 meters plus 0.25 meters, which is 0.75 meters. For section 2, the distance equals 2 third of 0.25 meters, which is 0.17 meters. For section 3, the distance equals half 1.25 meters, which is 0.625 meters. So, now we should be able to put our findings in last column, which is moment. For section 1, the moment equals 42 kilonewtons times 0.75 meters. This gives us a value of 31.5 kilonewtons meter. For section 2, the moment equals 5.25 kilonewtons times 0.17 meters. This gives us a value of 0.9 kilonewtons meter. For section 3, the moment equals 15 kilonewtons times 0.625 meters. This gives us a value of 9.4 kilonewtons meter. Next step is to sum up the weight of these sections, which equals 42 plus 5.25 plus 15. This gives us a value of 62.25 kilonewtons. Also, the sum of moment, which equals 31.5 plus 0.9 plus 9.4. This gives us a value of 41.8 kilonewtons meter. Therefore, the distance from A to the center of mass equals moment 41.8 kilonewtons meter divided by the total weight 62.25 kilonewtons. This gives us a value of 0.671 meters. As a result, the distance from base center equals 0.671 minus 0.625 meters, which equals 0.05 meters. Next, working out the horizontal soil pressure at the base of the wall, which equals active pressure coefficient 0.33 times the soil density 20 kN per cubic meter times the height 2.25 meters. This gives us a value of 14.85 kN per meter. 
Therefore, for a triangular distributed load, the magnitude of the resultant force is the area of triangle, which is 0.5 times 14.85 kilonewtons per meter times the height 2.25 meters. This gives us a value of 16.71 kilonewtons. As a result, the overturning moment equals the resultant force 16.71 kilonewtons times height 2.25 meters divided by 3. This gives us a value of 12.53 kilonewtons meter. Next step, we need to check if the resultant is within middle third. We know that the magnitude of the vertical resultant must equal the total weight of the wall. To find the eccentricity of the vertical resultant force, take moments about the center of the base. Therefore, eccentricity of the resultant vertical force equals overturning moment 12.53 minus the resultant vertical force 62.25 times the distance from base center 0.05 meters divided by the resultant vertical force 62.25. This gives us a value of 0.15 meters. In comparison, distance to edge of middle third equals 1.25 meters, divided by 6, which equals 0.208 meters, which is greater than 0.15 meters. As a result, resultant lies within the middle third. Therefore, the maximum bearing pressure equals total vertical weight, 62.25 kilonewtons, divided by 1.25 meters, plus total weight 62.25 kilonewtons, times eccentricity of the resultant vertical force, 0.15 meters, divided by elastic section modulus, which is 1.25 squared, divided by 6. This gives us a value of 85.7 kilonewtons per square meter. Finally, to prevent sliding, friction is developed on the underside of the wall. The friction angle between soil and concrete can be assumed to be the soil friction angle. In the absence of proper laboratory tests, a coefficient of friction of 0.6 can be assumed. Additional resistance to sliding is provided by passive pressures from the soil in front of the wall. Like active pressures, these are also assumed to have a triangular distribution, and the maximum passive pressure can be taken as the passive pressure coefficient, times the density of the soil, times half the height squared. The value of passive pressure coefficient is the reciprocal of active pressure coefficient. In the absence of better information, this can be assumed to have a value of 3. The sum of the friction force and the passive resistance must exceed the horizontal force from the soil pressure. So, the magnitude of the resultant passive resistance force equals 3 times 20 times 0.5 meters squared divided by 2. This gives us a value of 7.5 kilonewtons. The friction equals 0.6 times 62.25 kilonewtons, which is 37.35 kilonewtons. As a result, factor of safety equals 37.35 plus 7.5 divided by 16.71. This gives us a value of 2.68. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.